So this worksheet introduces forces which we measure in newtons and effectively we've got two different classifications. We've got non-contact forces that act at a distance and this includes things like the gravitational force which causes weight, the magnetic and the electrostatic force and then we have other forces that need to be in contact. So we're thinking about things like friction, uh, normal contact force, up thrust and drag and drag can be things like air resistance or water resistance. We then have a little bit more about what we mean by weight and weight is the force on a mass due to a gravitational field and that means the weight of an object can change depending on where it is in the solar system or in the universe but mass is always going to be the same and mass is measured in kilograms. Okay, so weight in newtons, that's a force, mass is in kilograms, and the gravitational field strength is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. I think some examples might use a value of 10, and actually at A level we tend to use 9.81, so we have another decimal figure there, but 9.8 is the one that I use for all of my calculations. On the other side, um, we've got uh, the fact that um, if you've got smooth surfaces, if you actually look really closely, perhaps with some kind of electron microscope, you see the actual smooth surface is actually quite bumpy. And because you've got these bumps uh, trying to get past each other, that's what causes friction. And if you can separate them slightly, perhaps by using um, something like oil, what that does is it allows two surfaces not to be in contact so much, and therefore it's easier for them to slide over one another. And then we've just got uh, some forces you can identify. So here we've got a motorbike at a steady speed. There's a thrust force provided by the engine, but there's also a drag force, and this drag includes the friction between the tyres and the road, and some of the air resistance of the rider and the motorbike as it's going through the air. Okay. We've also got the weight acting down, which equals m times g, and then there's an equal force, or an equally sized force in the opposite direction upwards called, called the normal contact force. And this is caused by the road pushing back up on that motorbike. If you've got a swimmer floating in the sea, again there's going to be a weight force down, and there's this buoyancy force upwards called the up thrust. And these two forces are equal in size but opposite in direction. And finally, if you've got a rugby ball which is moving to the right, there's still going to be a weight force acting down, but now the drag force is going to be in the opposite direction to its motion. So the air resistance is in the opposite direction to the motion of that ball, and it says here it's moving to the right. So you've got the weight acting down, the drag force acting back, and there's no force pushing it forward once it's being kicked. Once it's in the air, these are the only two forces acting on it. So there we go, uh, just a simple straightforward worksheet where we start to identify different types of force.